Alright y'all, welcome to Southern Crown Chronicles. Y'all getting ready to jam a little bit before we talk, okay? Y'all listen to this. Y'all get ready, because we're coming back in full force. Full force. We just ain't been... We just ain't been... Uh, <clears throat> when we come back, we're going to be way more consistent. You're going to be... Expect expect three to four videos a week from us. Y'all know. <laughs> Y'all know we was consistent before. Yeah. I was on, ten, on radio 10 years consistent every night, seven days a week. But guess what, y'all? 
there's new things going on, big and new things going on, and we're transitioning into a new place, and we're doing a lot. But y'all will see, we'll be right back on real soon. Real soon. Real soon, so y'all get ready. I wonder what's that. There's some young kid up there. I wonder what's he driving. I don't know. Yeah. How did he crash into the tree? I mean, crash into the thing. The pole. <laughs> oh, boy. I hope that was in his parents' car. Yeah, he crashed into the pole. Who's in the ambulance? Uh, I don't know. Somebody's on the... Uh... Oh, boy. All right, family, we have to turn the camera on. Um, turn it off, I'm sorry, for a minute while we was going past because the police, you know, he's supposed to be talking on the phone. So anyways, as we were saying, yeah, y'all get ready. There's some more weather coming down. But I do want y'all to celebrate because as well as the weather's coming and all that and to wash and cleanse up, there's some, there's some new things coming in and the energy is changing. I don't know if y'all feel the energy, but it's changing for the better. A lot of people are going to be getting blessed. A lot of people are going to be getting blessed with good things. If you've been doing righteous and been, do, been righteous and doing what's right, you're going to see. You're going to get your blessings. Um, yeah. Do look out for that, y'all. As well as people getting their blessings, people are getting their karma. You know, as yeah. well as people are getting their blessings, they are getting their karma also. Yeah. Now, yeah. if you haven't been righteous and you've been doing shit you ain't got no business doing, and doing evil shit and being evil and being hateful and all that good stuff, you ain't getting no blessings. You're going to get the you're going to get the opposite of blessings because. You know, people think it's a joke in the game. They think, oh, I ain't gonna, nothing gonna happen to me if I do this evil and do it. I don't care where you think you come from. I don't care if you come from all the way from Africa. If you ain't doing right, ancestors got something for your asses. And I hear people teach that stuff is not true. They always say, ain't no karma in African traditions. That's not true. For lack of better words, we're using karma, but there is energy in African religion that and it will return to you. Whether you want to say it in your tribal tongue or somebody else's, this will return to you. Don't get it confused. Yeah, so if you I don't do righteousness, you won't see. If you've been righteous and you do good and you think good and you act good, you're about to get your blessings. Don't say you wasn't told so. See, yeah. before, years ago, people wonder why, why all these people get blessings and they be doing bad shit. Mm -hmm. They do bad things. Why do they get blessings, right? Yeah. People, people look, you know, but then it's like, um, this time, this energy we in, this sixth dimension that we in, guess what? It ain't happening. If you do bad, it's going to come back to you quicker than you can blink your eye. And I've, all, and I've also seen in the past with people who've done a lot of negative work and then somebody, uh, do something to them spiritually and it just destroys them because they had they had it coming so y'all have to do what's righteous do what's righteous especially wow. with the spiritual work what's that yeah all right y'all so i also want y'all to know that it's very important at this time to communicate with your ancestors and get closer up with nature don't say i didn't tell y'all so Right? A lot of y'all, y'all better get out there and start talking to the spirit of the wind, to the spirit of the rain, to the spirit of the water, because I'm going to tell y'all like this, y'all going to need it. Y'all going to need it as well as you're going to need your uh, survival kits too. Um, y'all seen what happened in New York? Y'all seen New York got flooded, the subway, oh, let me talk to you about the water. Right. But listen, let me tell y'all, it's very important that you make a connection with the spirit of the water. And that way you don't get flooded out, your house don't get flooded out, and with the spirit of the wind, because when these tropical storms are turn into hurricanes, these winds could knock your whole house over. Some of y'all know how these houses are made like goddamn straw, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, watch it, y'all gonna have to be very, my goodness, you can't see, y'all gonna have to be very serious about making a deep connection with nature okay you're gonna have to make a, a connection with nature and make sure that you talk to the spirit of the one i'm sorry we're trying to pay attention to the road too god damn it so <laughs> i'm talking i'm repeat my stuff you know all right so you got to make a deep connection with nature I'm, I'm serious talk to the earth 
talk to the trees. And your ancestors. If you got trees around your house, talk to them. But you're going to, I already said, it's important to make okay. a connection with the ancestors because the ancestors is going to protect your house too. Okay? But most importantly, when you make a connection with that tree or with that, you know, with the spirit of the rain or uh, with the dirt, the earth, they're going to protect your house. Don't say it and tell you so. Y'all think it's a joke of really walking around, not respecting the trees, and just, oh, it's just raining. People scared of the goddamn rain. Some people are scared. I'm not scared of the rain. But people don't realize that they're, they're, like you say, we're connected to the all. You can right. control nature, but you got to know you can do it, and you got to believe in yourself, and then you put that energy out there, and you connect with that, that very own thing that is coming from for the people or to come and cleanse up you make that connection so it won't affect you like that in a negative well, way. I like to say control because nature can no, control not, us. Not I like control, to say we have the power to manipulate the forces of nature. Sort of like if it's raining, uh let up a little bit, spread of the rain, and it'll let up, right? We can't control nature because nature has shown us over and over again. She got control of this place right here called Earth. But she'll bring a tsunami and shut your whole shit down, okay? Tsunami so, or tornado. Right, tornadoes, shut it, knock it all down. She get mad at you for doing shit in her business, like digging in her womb, right? Manipulating her womb with your tools and trying to dig for oil and everything else. She could shut you down. However, we have the power to manipulate her. So, if y'all don't believe me, go out and try to make the wind blow. Without without using heart, we can do that. Right. Go and make the wind blow. Go talk to a tree and watch a tree wave back to you. Okay? Now, do get a condol side and tell y'all, so I don't care if you're in Wisconsin, I don't care if you're in New York. Do go talk to a tree, find a goddamn tree, make friends with the wind, make friends with the earth, and all of that. Because the hurricanes and the storms that's coming this year... This next couple of months is going to be very powerful. Don't say I didn't tell y'all so. Yeah, that's right. Okay? Alright. Alright, family. This has been uh, another episode of Chevy Car Chronicles. My brother Dinkra. This is Wunam. Tell them about. <laughs> this is Wunam, aka Nigga Love, your African indigenous traditional healers. Love y'all family, peace, and many, many blessings. Hold on, we can't not uh, leave no music with it. Hold on, let me see. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know. Let me see. Speak up. Hold on. Skip in. Skip in. Can't play that one, y'all. Can't play that one, y'all. Alright. Okay, we'll come back and celebrate. Right? We're going to leave y'all with Celebrate. This is one of the tracks I never even let y'all hear that I did years ago. So I'm going to leave it on here for y'all to listen.